So about two years ago, me and Jess were traveling through South America on this epic, incredible month-long group tour and we were just, we fell in love. We absolutely love traveling with other people like-minded who love travel as much as us. And then we realized we have a bunch of friends that watch us every single day, chat in the comments, and we know how much you guys love travel. So after that amazing South America trip, we wanted to make it our mission to meet as many of you as possible. And we ended up hosting a bunch of meetups all around the world, but they were in the afternoons. We only got to spend a couple of hours with you guys. And we thought it was time to take it to the next level. So we have started Flying the Nest Expeditions. So six months ago, we announced that our very first one will be here in Vietnam. So we love traveling with other people and we thought instead of taking you guys through the lens, we may as well grab some of you out and actually come and travel with us. So before the tour begins, let's introduce you to the 10 incredible people that will be joining us on the expeditions. <laughs> Everyone's just been given their cabin. We're in 210. I think it's three stories. Our oh, junk boat. Yes, we're on level two. Oh my gosh, the rooms are so nice. What? Oh wow. Okay, I was not expecting this. This is so cool. Wait, we have our own balcony. What? what? No way. Whoa. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. we have our own balcony. This is so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I love how we're the ones that planned this and we are so shocked. It's because we didn't know what the boat was going to look like. And yeah. I was like, wow, this is really, really cool. Do you know what? We've always wanted to vlog a cruise. Oh, We've this is kind never of... done one with yes. you guys. We've this done is like kind of a first like cruise vlog, right? Yeah, definitely. Oh yeah, it is three stories. Yeah, it is. We need to go explore. Yeah, let's give you a quick room tour of our little cabin for the night. Then we need to meet up with everyone. Yes. And go and explore the boat. First of all, we'll start the tour on our own private balcony. So this is our honestly very spacious cabin. We've been on cruise ships before and they're not this big. We got a gigantic double bed. We also have a couch air conditioning, as well as a fridge. I think we have a mini bar. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> and I'm guessing this is our bathroom. <laughs> oh, what? There's we a, have bath a bath tub on a cruise. I thought we weren't showering it's tonight. I know, that's what I thought. Okay, this is nice. So we just set sail and when we we're kind of planning this whole expeditions we wanted it to be a mixture of everything we love going on boats maybe some overnight trains coming up so this is definitely a highlight for us because we've been wanting to come to Halong Bay for so long we came into Vietnam I think three years ago but we only went to Ho Chi Minh City and everyone says you didn't see Vietnam until you see Halong Bay and it's living up to the expectations we've, we've only been on the boat for like an hour or two and wow I'm excited to see more Have you 
seen any more of a beautiful spot to get a massage. So we've just come out to a floating village out here in Helen Bay and we're gonna hire some kayaks and head out. Alright guys, just make sure you sort out that leak in the kayak before you get too far. <laughs> this is kind of fun. So we've just jumped in some kayaks and there's actually some floating villages just in front of us and some of the locals live here. A bunch of locals used to live here back in the day but typhoons are quite common in here. So the government decided to move a lot of them for the safety reasons back onto the mainland. But there's some fishermen that still hang out here. A lot of these houses here are local fishermen. So they just kind of work here throughout the day. They even do night fishing here as well. <laughs> This is amazing! Oh, <laughs> this is what you need to be doing, by the yeah, way. Right <laughs> How's everyone's kayaking here in Vietnam going? Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Super lame. <laughs> Someone's embarrassed on TV again. Here we go. Woo! Oh my god. We had no idea. Actually swimming inside Helen Bay was pretty nice. Yeah. I can say, like we did the Nile and it's like okay no we have to jump in here. But the sun has just set. It's really nice. I think I haven't taken a moment just to sit back and look where we are because mm -hmm. we've just been hanging out with everyone and wow. I can it see is, why people come here. <laughs> it is so beautiful. But it's pretty much just about dinner time. We're having a seafood buffet. Which is super nice. Like, I'm very impressed. <laughs> yeah, it's really, really nice. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you. Uh, thank you. Oh, there's four things. I don't smell it till you have it. <laughs> she said it was called Happy Rice Wine. <laughs> Ooh. But she said okay. it was three times, right? Okay. Hi. Hi, bye. 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 Hi, Okay, no cool. Cool. <laughs> it does. <laughs> Ten more times we got oh, this. No. no, we're gonna have one drink Larry coming out. <laughs> Before we show you more of the beauty of Halong Bay, we just wanted to give a very quick shout out to the amazing people over at Audible for sponsoring this video and helping make travel series like this one possible. If you haven't heard of Audible, they're an amazing app where you can listen to audiobooks on the go. We all know that there can be a lot of traveling when you actually travel, whether you are sitting at airports, on planes, or on those long buses and train journeys. Audible makes time go so much faster by being able to download audiobooks straight to your phone, allowing you to stick on your headphones and get lost in a story. One of our favorite audiobooks to listen to since visiting Alaska is Into the Wild by John Krakow, a story of a guy who hitchhikes to Alaska to live in the wilderness. Go to audible.com slash fly in the nest or text fly in the nest to 500 500 to start listening with an exclusive 30 day free trial, one free audiobook of your choice, and two Audible originals from an ever-changing list. So those who say that travel is about the journey, not the destination, obviously we're listening to Audible along the way. So please go support those who help support this channel. Now let's go see more of Vietnam. Good morning everybody, it's the next day. We woke up at like sunrise and did a morning Tai Chi class and you kind of just need to stop and take it in because you look around and you just forget where you are and it's just so incredibly beautiful. But we've now come to a little cave area and we're actually jumping off the boat and going and exploring these caves and it's in one of the big limestone structures that are surrounding us right now. I was not expecting our morning to start with us climbing <laughs> inside one of these gigantic caves. Wow. So there's a lot of like stalagmites, stalactites around here. It's like discovered in the 30s with just a Swedish guy just sailing through, came inside the cave. Guys, we are now sailing back 
our time on Halong Bay is coming to an end. But if you definitely come out to Vietnam, make the trip up to North Vietnam so you can actually come and spend a night. Don't just do a day trip, come and spend the night because you have all these experiences included. The food that we had on the boat was super tasty with freshly caught fish last night. Definitely add this one on. I can see why so many people come out to Halong Bay. I'm so glad that we could finally see it for ourselves. Alrighty guys, we are now back in Hanoi and we have jumped straight onto these little rickshaws. The group has set off, we are all in these little bikes and we are going to be exploring Hanoi because we actually haven't had a chance to explore this city yet and it is the second largest city here in Vietnam. And we're doing it by the cyclone. <laughs> <laughs> I can pretty much just walk with you guys. <laughs> <laughs> so interesting, when we oh, normally yeah. do these, the driver's in the front, and I can see why you'd want to do it this way, because then we have like panoramic views of the town yeah. as you go okay, around. Okay, <laughs> so we just arrive. So we cannot leave Hanori without trying this famous egg coffee. So we're currently walking around the streets, trying to find a cafe. I don't know what to expect. Let's just go try some coffee. So it's basically egg yolk and condensed milk and they whip it up and then they put it in a cup with coffee and then they've served it actually in this bowl of hot water so it keeps hot. So if you just want to like chat and drink your coffee it'll stay hot. And we're told you don't stir it first. You need to. Whoa, look how thick it is. <laughs> so he told us we should put the spoon all the way down to get a bit of the coffee. Mm. It's really sweet. Oh really? It's good. Yeah? It's like coffee eggnog. Oh that's really good. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> you like it? It's good? Yeah, I need to try some. Whoa. It's really sweet but I like it. Yeah. <laughs> Cheers! <laughs> Alrighty everybody, I hope you enjoyed that look at Halong Bay, a little bit of Hanoi and kind of our first couple of days on the expeditions, but if you want to know what's next, we're about to jump on a... on an overnight train. <laughs> if you guys are new around here and you want to keep watching our trip here in Vietnam, make sure you hit subscribe, give the video a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time. See ya! You do the overnight trains here in Vietnam, some people would recommend you pick up the sleeping bag, like it must be like the thing to do is to just pick up the sleeping bags. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, you, Jess. <laughs> <laughs>